Who's here tonight? Well, I know that Steve Mon Michael is here, and I'm so sorry people missed his uh, rehearsal, which could not be aired on any radio or television station on this planet. <laughs> but I think that'll be a great deal of fun. The Belarus theater people are already here with Chris Jones. He's interviewing them. Sam Juan has been talking to Greg Cotton before the show. Victoria Martin, this amazing astrologer, even though I don't believe in astrology, is here. Uh, who else is on this show, Jen? I think you got it all. I really do. Maybe somebody else. But it's still a The rehearsal thing is so bizarre and wild, I can't even keep track. How fun is it to have another season on tap here? How does it feel to be back? It, weird. I mean, we learned a lot last time around, and uh, this rehearsal thing went very smoothly, but it's another six weeks. We're on the first of four six-week runs this year, and this one feels really good, but you never know. You never know, and that's the great one of the great joys of this. It's kind of a tightrope walk during a circus act. I mean, you could fall. And, uh, but it'd be I mean, great video. And only Jerry Kern is here to catch me. I am a step further in that I use 72 stars. I don't just use 12 zodiac signs, so 13 zodiac signs. I use 72 stars and I use 30 constellations. It's known as the Psychic City. And there's a book to, There's a book about it. And What's the book? It's called Chicago, the Psychic City. Oh my goodness. So what do you say when people say that astrology and psychics are all a bunch of hoo-ha? How do, how do you... Well, it depends on, you know, it's just like doctors. I mean, you know, they're good doctors and bad doctors. They're good astrologers and not so astrologers. And mm -hmm. they probably have an experience. The work of a good astrologer. Yeah. So no, I would end. It's, it's hard. Yeah. I think that you put this whole big front on and that you're really a teddy bear. That's my daughter. <laughs> the right there. There. That's right. That's all it takes. God help me. <laughs> hey, I forgot. I wanted a little girl. And I forgot, there's no saying out there about a man like this. Hell hath no fury like a woman's corn. So we'd rather be in hell, boys? <laughs> Manya, welcome back, season two. Thanks, Jen. How's it feel? Feels great. You excited? Feels good. Yeah, I am excited. How's the green room tonight? The green room is a little calm tonight. We've had some exciting moments in the green room last season. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's a little tame tonight, which is it's actually good. It's a good thing. So nobody juggling knives or standing on their heads? There's no, nothing no to setting say. themselves on fire this season. Um, I know, you know. It's early in the season. I guess I do feel a sense of loss, but no, it's, it's, it's good. But let's, let's say my expectations were not super high the first time I did it, and then mm -hmm. I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. It's pretty fun, huh? I mean, pretty Kogan. Fun. He's like a born MC, you know? He's, he was like yeah. the, the original hip hop artist. You know? He's and so here is the deal. You had an honor where you were recently awarded for 30 years of fabulous service. For Don't Chicago. remind me. Did you start when you were six? Because everybody talks about the fact that you are not old enough to have a 30 year award. I was seven, actually. I started when I was seven. Copy. Uh, very young, the youngest copy clerk in the history of the Tribune. That's right. Good thing there weren't any labor laws to I worry actually got coffee for Rick Kogan back in, back in the day. It was an honor oh, yeah. to get Rick Kogan coffee at Billy Goat, just the way he liked it. Funny. Coffee with a couple of shots of scotch in it. Very, very small amount of coffee, a couple of shots of scotch. And he's good to go. And he's good to go. The rest of the day, Rick was rolling.